Hello everyone, this is TailsFail109 and welcome back. Uh, what am I saying? Welcome to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. I'm sorry for saying welcome back. I'm still not over the fact that the Zelda 2 randomized playthrough ended so quickly that I need to come up with something immediately to play. So, I'm playing the Metroid Zero Mission. It, it's not a very long game, and it's... Well, it shouldn't take very long. It's not too long. But when I am going to play on hard mode, just to make things a little more interesting, because this game is really hard on hard mode, but it is so pathetically easy on normal mode. And I haven't done a Metroid game on this for a very long time, so let's get to it. I'm going to do a new game. Yes, and set the difficulty to hard mode. Otherwise... This won't be very interesting. It, this is a remake of the original Metroid for the NES. I'll get more in, in a bit. Planet Zebs. I called this place home once in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here. My so-called Zero Mission. And here we go! So, let's start. This is hard mode, so enemies have more health, and even the weakest enemies can kill like two to three hits right at the very start. Let's just get the Morph Ball first thing. So, this is a remake of the first game made for the Game Boy Advance, which is kind of fun because I recently just played a remake of Resident Evil, and this kind of follows suit in that it is sort of the same game, but it changes up quite a few things and adds some other things to make it feel like a completely different game. And the power beam is terrible in the beginning. So we're going to want to play very carefully because it really... Oh, oh my gosh. It does not take a lot to die on hard mode. I can't reach it. Like these guys probably do normally about 5, 8 damage, something like that. On hard mode they'll probably do about 40. Let's just... There we go. Alright. So yeah, this adds a few things to kind of keep it up with the lore of other Metro games, including the use of Chozo statues, the whole Chozo lore in general, and Space Pirates, needed, most of which wasn't very well represented in the original game. There weren't Space Pirates shown at all. And of course, some quality of life conveniences, such as more places to restore health, giving you ideas on where you're supposed to go on the map, even having a map in general. Well, let's just save really quickly, because again, oh, this is brutally difficult. I remember trying hard mode on this after watching an Exo Paradigm Gamer review on hard mode, talking about how much harder hard mode is, and oh my gosh, he wasn't kidding. This game on hard mode will murder you. Normal mode, however, is a rather relaxing ride, so you, you get some massive extremes with this game. Oh, and gotta say, the graphics look very nice and colorful in this one. I will not be 100%ing this game, though. 100%ing this game is just about... <laughs> it's unreasonable. Because of one reason, it is called Shine Spark Puzzles. If you don't know what Shine Spark is, I'll start talking about it when I get to that point. So now for my look at the map. Yeah, this is where we're told to go. Oh yeah, and since this is a new game plus, the game will be kind enough to let me know how many items are in each section and how many of them I have. You only get this in New Game Plus though. It make it does make completion much easier. There we go, let's go inside and let's get our power up, the long beam. This turns the power beam into what we know from the rest of the franchise in that it actually travels. Yeah, there we go. We're much better off now, but we still have to be careful as we go up here to a pretty dangerous area. Pretty darn dangerous. Well, once we get above ground again. 
Alright, yeah. We don't want to go left because there's actually n nothing to do over there. It will lead us to the um, endgame area and we'll, s we'll get to see the gate that's blocking our way to the final area, but this is hard mode. I don't want to die. I don't have a choice. Fine. I don't have a choice. They want me to see it, which means it's time to mess up jumps. I'm sorry, D does the audio sound kind of gross to you guys? I did adjust it, but I don't know. I don't remember the music sounding like this. I remember it sounding a little better. Alright, so yeah. They want us to see this. We must kill Kraid and Ridley to progress. And now the area is going to be filled with enemies, right? I still don't see any enemies. Ow! You see how much damage he took off? Oh, gosh! Whew. I think that enemy's only in hard mode. I think some enemies get replaced with something much tougher on hard mode. I don't remember. Oh! And also, the map will give you a couple hints on where to find items. They'll be represented as these small white circles. It will let you know there's an item hidden somewhere in that section of the map. It will turn into a square dot once you get it. So that'll be nice to know. We can, of course, get everything right now. And there's a lot of stuff we most certainly won't be able to get with these. Alright. There we go. We're safe for now. I might want to save. Yeah, I'm going to want to save before progressing. There we go. We'll go down there in a moment. I just... I want to save again. Hard mode really is rough. Very rough. I will take that healing item. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, that only did 20. That wasn't too bad. But I think saving will refill my health again? No, it won't. Gosh darn it. Well, if need be, there... There's a Chozo statue right here. And we can go back to refill our health with these guys anytime we wish. That's better. Alright, let's go. Movement's nice and quick in this one. Although I think I do prefer fusion over this game. I just love the big horror set pieces that game gets to make. A good chunk of it due to its massive linearity. Like, it's not like Metroid games are usually massive open affairs, but Metroid Fusion does, is not even concerned about hiding its linearity. So it takes the opportunity to create these massive set pieces, a lot of which have a few horror elements in them, which I, I love horror elements. I think you guys know that by now, all the horror games I've been playing. Let's start dropping down. Alright. All sweet in our safe room. Good. Very good. And I'm at full health, so this is this is passable. Let's go. Okay, bye bye. Ooh, ow! Look at all the health I lost. One hit. Oh, there's something moving about in here. What could it be? Anyways, we finally got some missiles. But this is hard mode, so instead of five missiles, we get two. And the energy tanks in hard mode will only give us 50 units instead of 100. Very nasty. No point hiding how nasty it is. I want some health. Because we're about to fight a mini-boss. I don't know the names of these mini-bosses, but, um... He's going to drop down, and then we got to quickly try and shoot him with a missile. Let's try and get some more missiles. There we go. If we fail to kill him, he'll run away, and we'll have to find him later. Oh, shoot. Um, I think I just messed up. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to run away. And if he runs away, we can't get his item till later. I absolutely do not want that to happen, because I'm going to need the ability he gives us. It'll be very useful. 
At the very least, as a layer of protection, it could work. I hate thee. I hate thee! Look! I'm already almost dead. There's the missiles. There we go, full health. Let's try this again. You don't get much room for error. Ow, I got hit. And there we go, it takes three missiles to get him. And our reward is the lovely charge beam. <laughs> I need this charge beam. There we go. As long as it can kill an enemy in a hit, summer assault jumps should prove as a magnificent defense. Let's just test it on these guys. Okay, good. So you can bet I'm gonna be charging this up a lot. I'm going to save. Yes, please save. There we go. Perfect. No, 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 no. Those little things. I get too many of them on me. I am going to lose health. Alright, there we go. Let's go inside the red door. We should be able to get an energy tank this way. Okay, can't do anything there. Let's kill it! There we go, but what's down this way? Why nothing, of course. Ow, oh, go away, go away, go away, go away! I have angered them! Die! There's too many of you! No way, I don't like bugs. There we go. Okay, can't do anything about that yet. It says there's an item somewhere here, but where? Ah, here we go! Missiles! There we go. Now, we're a little better off. I can't reach that. Oh well, let's get our energy tank. 50 units instead of 100. It's so mean. So of course we're going to want to try and find a lot of missile and energy tanks. That was close, I almost ran into the acid itself. There we go. Oops. Yeah, okay, why not? What's this way? The map! Map room. There we go. That's very nice. Brinstar hasn't changed too much from its NES design. Now then. Yeah, see, we've explored, a l explored quite a bit of the mainland so far. We've got two missile expansions and one energy tank. We see where we want to get to next, so we should definitely get to it. Okay, I can still kill those in one hit with a charge shot. That's good. Alright, I've got my missiles back, and we need to find another way up here. That's too high. Alright, then. Oh, no, wait. This is where we want to be. And bada beam, bada boom. I mean, yeah, okay, I do still gotta get the item, but you never know what could happen. I'm gonna save. This is hard mode. I think you can see this This mode is deadly. But if you just want a casual run, normal mode is a lot easier, and easy mode should be easier still. Alright, let's go this way. We have a missile. 
And we get bombs! Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves bombs. Um, It looked like there was another path this way. Should I check that first? Uh, it's a, it was a trap. It was a trap. But it was the only way to open that door, apparently. Okay, let's go the other way first. And why not? I want my missile back as well. It also refills our missile capacity, which is wonderful. You see, we can get ourselves a neat little item here. Too bad we don't have a spring ball, but whatever. A missile's still a missile. Alright, I think that's it. Let's go. I'd hate to do a randomizer of this game. Getting some of these items, trust me, would be a massive pain. Ow! Okay, okay, it's not that much health lost. Save! Now we got bombs, we can start doing a little more exploration. Oops. Why did I forget that enemies can respawn? <laughs> and will respawn. I'll take that. Thank you. Bye bye. I'm not scared of ya. I've got a charge beam. Alright. Now then, why don't we explore down here? Oh, we. Yeah, we can't kill those little bug things with our nifty little bombs now, which is fantastic. Let's go this way and try and get some items. Don't. Don't get hurt. Alright, there we go, and this is... This is... This is to tell us where to go next. Norfair, okay. I used to call it non-fair, because I always thought that's what it was called. Well, there we go. There's our next clue. Sweet! Thank you. Anything behind you? There we go, I bomb jumped. But no, the... Wait. You have to check, you have to check. There was nothing. Okay, let's, let's, let's move on. Oh, you're back! Alright. There we go, see? See what the charge beam can do for you? Alright, I better get back to safety. Oh, for Pete's sakes, this is back. Alright, I'll just mash the buttons. I don't want to waste my missiles on something so easy. There we go. Wait, really? Oh, there we go. Ah, look what we got here. Oh, gosh, I gotta get rid of these things. That's better. Uh, not quite. Oh, are they just going to keep spawning? Alright. Now we got to try and get back in there before it regroups. And missile acquired. There we go. I want to get I want to get to a bit of relative safety before I end this off. I, I could die if I'm not careful. And if the enemies keep being a jerk. Stop it! You're endlessly spawning! There we go. Alright, alright. I'm not safe yet. I'm still not safe. Alright, alright. Can I even... Uh, I'll find out when I hitch back to the save room. 
Save. Alright, there we go. That's good progress to start off with. I am surviving Brinstar. <laughs> That's something. Next video, we're gonna have to go into Norfair. Until then, though, this has been Tales 109, and have a nice day.